cousins and nephews and nieces for this beautiful, wonderful tribute to BJ and thank you to Prep and everybody involved in the coordination of all of this and for us it's no greater sign of how BJ lives on for all of us through the beautiful maroon tree and being right here in the middle of everything on a busy street, on a busy corner where life is so, you know, full of craziness inside and he spent some of his best time for everything he's fault here. So for us, we couldn't thank you enough. We're so thankful for all of your help in today's events and in every event that we do in honor of BJ and honor of St. Peter's and celebrating his life and his friendship and love with all of you guys. Thank you so much. You know, people think I'm crazy when they hear the story for the first time, but I guess it's no different than growing up, you know, with a father who's a fireman or a policeman, and, and you might, you know, get it into your mind at a young age, uh, you know, that that profession is something you might want to go into, or, you know, a lawyer, or really a teacher, any other profession out there. It, it's what I grew up around, and having a father and two uncles, I was telling a couple of people the story earlier, before WFAN started as the nation's first all sports station in 1987, I always said that family get togethers on the holidays, that was really like the first all sports station because I would just listen to the stories and soak it in. Everybody you know. in sports casting these days seems to have a signature call. Our guest last year at the BJ Broadcaster Breakfast, Michael Kay, his signature call was see ya. We hear that often when the Yankees hit home runs. Uh, and he explained where that came from, that that was actually something that his ex-girlfriend used to say to him at the end of every night together. Uh, and one time she meant it and meant it for good because he never saw it. Uh, your dad's signature call is probably as signature as any broadcaster has ever had. Can you tell us where it came from? Where, his, where yeah. the S came from? The story that I've heard, you know, for 40 years now, um, when he grew up in Brooklyn, he and his brothers, he was the oldest, and he would go to the, the local basketball court, you know, the schoolyard, and, and they would play games, and whichever, you know, a couple of guys weren't playing would announce on the sideline, and there was a referee in the NBA named Sid Borgia at the time, and when, this is in the early 50s, early to mid 50s, and whenever there was a, a player made a basket and was fouled, and he would say yes on the court, so that, that's kind of where it came from. So he and his friends would start doing it in the schoolyard, but it actually came from an NBA referee. So at NYU, on one hand, we, we didn't have Division I sports programs. We didn't have you know, the, the big basketball program, the big football program. We had a very good Division III program. But the, the, the positive was there were only five or six of us. Uh, that, 